Hi everyone, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings and I am going to make a series of videos about row relation algorithm in detail with a clear cut explanation about all the different criteria that is there in row relation algorithm. And this video, this is a series of videos, total 7 videos, it is going to explain about row relation algorithm each criteria in one video. If you are watching this video, please be noted that there are other videos maybe in front of this video or after this video which covers the entire rule relation algorithm process. So before we get into the rule relation algorithm and we are going to start a new training batch on PEGA from this May 31st 2022. Timings will be morning 8 am to 9 am IST Indian standard time. If you have any of your friends who are looking for the same you can refer them. And if any of your friends who are freshers or any one of your connections who are freshers graduated on in any degree and who have gap after education or if they are looking for a career change, I mean like if they are already working and looking for a career change, you can recommend Harsha trainings, which is we suggest them the best and high demanding course in the market and get them achieve their goals to get into the IT field and get the IT job. And now this is the third video of rule addition algorithm series of videos in this video i am going to explain about rule set hierarchy and its importance if you have any questions or any doubts please post your questions in the comment section below of this video and if you are attending interviews on pega if you have any queries for which you are looking for answers please post those questions in the comment section below we would be happy to help you and assist you let's go ahead and, and understand about rule set hierarchy what is the next one Rule set error. Look at here. I will explain you about personal rule set later. See, whenever an operator log into PRPC, in the operator profile, you can see this one you focus on. I'll tell you this one later. Focus here. There will be a rule set hierarchy. Okay. So from here to below, all are OOTB rule sets. And from here to here, all are application rule sets. See, always PRPC looks at the rule sets of current application. You go to current application, here it is implementation application, right? It will always try to pick the role which is there in current application role sets. It will look at current application, application rule set, integration rule set, organization rule set, or nation integration. After this, a rule is not present in any of these rule sets. Then where it will go? It will go to built on application. Built on application it will verify here and here, but it won't verify organization. What is the reason? Already it has verified previously. The same you will see in the operator profile. See, in the operator implementation, integration, organization, framework, framework, integration. Still, again, you have organization? No, it is not there. So, here you go now. But where is it? Here you go now. After organ framework rule sets, also it is not found. It will go to OOTB rule sets. Which rule set it has to check? It will, it will be able to understand from the operator profile. Operator's current application rule sets not present. Organization rule set not present, framework rule sets not present, OODB rule sets, everything. Everywhere it is not available, then rule not found exception. So, PRPC, whenever a request is going to request for a rule, it considers to take the order of rule sets that is mentioned in the application rule form. Everyone clear? First, it will verify in the application rule set of current application. Not present, then Current application integration rule set not present, then organization rule set not present, organization integration not present, built on application framework, framework integration not present, OOTB rule sets overall. It will go till Pega rules process commander, Pega platform application. Understand everyone clear? This is called as rule set hierarchy. And if you go in depth into rule set, current application rule set has five versions. First rule set has five versions. It will verify which version. Always process commander looks at highest version. Always process commander looks at highest version. It is not present. It will go to previous version. Not present. Previous version. Not present. Like this, it will verify rule set versions also. This is called rule set hierarchy. Everyone clear? 